the lady in red. Lise has a proposal. I'm listening. I've been thinking, if Ali say needs more time to heal, maybe we should move her to Ralka's reach. She can receive much better care there after all. Our infirmary is probably the best place for her, short of sending her to Gridania. Indeed, and given what Mistress Woad has told us, I would rather she did not remain here. Then it's settled. Now go, go and see about getting us a carriage and an escort. Alfredo, you should get your sister ready for the journey. Alex, would you mind going on ahead and telling Arella that we're on our way? I want a bed waiting for Alice when she arrives. Thanks. Already sounding like a commander. Must seem strange seeing me do doling out the orders, but not half as strange as it feels to do it, let me tell you. Rolgas reach. Bye. Bum. All right. To the infirmary, I suppose. Probably should have teleported, but oh well. It's still a little bit depressing coming here. When it's night time because of like the more somber tune. But not as depressing as it was when we came before and everything was grayscaled. Oop, where are we going? Ah, you! Huh? Do you require assistance? That's not the right voice for her. Very well. We will make ready to receive the patient at once. Give me a hand, would you? There. All crisp and freshly laundered. We're here. Is everything in order? Yep. Right. We're bringing her in. Honestly, Alfredo, you needn't have gone to all this trouble. What can I say? It seemed a good way to discourage you from limping off to battle when my back was turned. Listen to Aurella, please. You need your rest. I know, I know. Uh, any news of Crown? She'd be cross if you make her wait too long, as will I. Ha! Huh, a chilling prospect indeed. I'll find her sister, and I'll fight twice as hard for both of us. They're good together, when they're not at each other's throats. I miss that feeling. Alex, oh, I have a favour to ask. Would you mind waiting outside for me? Oh, it won't be a moment. Sure. Outside where? Or just outside in general? Oh, they're actually solid! I expected them not to be solid at all.
sorry to have kept you waiting. Well, what do you think? I know it's a bit old-fashioned, but in a traditional sort of way, Ida wore it whenever she could. Not that I'm pretending to be her or anything. Not again. It's just... If this is the last battle we fight to free El Amigo, then she ought to be a part of it. It suits you. It's nice of you to say so. And a bit embarrassing, but mostly nice. Anyway, the real reason I asked you here was to sneak in a warm-up before the final battle. There's this place I know where monks used to spar as part of their training. Care to join me? Well, of course! Suddenly it's night time again. Whew. Whew. Maybe we got a little carried away. But you'll have to admit that was fun. Thank you, Alex. You're the best kind of friend. Kind that's not afraid to knock some sense at you. And boots. Cheek to cheek. And upon the great locked shores. Say, told you. Head gear, head gear, head gear, head gear, head gear. Lisa is feeling relaxed and refreshed. Now that Alex has settled in, it's time we rejoin the fight. Though, actually, maybe you and Alfino should go on ahead without me. I need to talk strategy with the officers, and that might take a while. Do 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 do. She fits the role of a leader well. I should have been there with you at the end. If only I hadn't been so reckless. Ah, there you are. What was it least wanted of you? Uh, that's a whole thing. <laughs> a sparring match on the destroyer's very palm? I would have liked to have seen that. But she is right. We have lingered here long enough. I am ready to depart when you are. Take care, you two. Don't do anything I wouldn't. And you had better not ri rise from that bed until you are given express permission to do so. Uriange will be paying you a visit soon, and he is already worried enough as it is. We have a long road ahead of us. Lead the way, Alex. Pitman and Castro Barnia. So we want to go to Alagana. No, Alagiri, sorry. All right. 
Yep, straight over at the entrance. Ah, and that was the entrance to the locks as well. I hadn't realised. Oh, that's not the right way. I have made a grievous error. Wait a minute. Oh, you mean you have to go the upper route? Ah. Oh. Go away, Cricket. No one cares. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. So where are the quests? One there, one there, one there. And then there's one up in the north. Uh, yeah, I think I might unlock flying afterwards. Then we've only got that one last area. We'll see. I should really be doing this on the way, shouldn't I? North west. So that means it's over here. So you're under the west. Inside of that. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. Cul-de-sac. No, it's still in the west. The top of that ramp. Still west. Yep. There it is. Don't attack us. Don't attack us. There's a good Kongamato. Southwest. All right, well, that's not easy to get to from here, so let's continue on. Well, it is easy to get to, but... We'll get to that afterwards. Huh. I wonder what that is, then. Because that wasn't an entrance I could get to. Maybe it's flying only. All right, resistance gate guard, let me in as I stand inside your crotch. Do 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 do. Oh my God! It really is a far run. Especially when you're having to take the long way around. Then it'll turn out I somehow could go that way. Do, 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 do. Let's see, where have I not... I haven't looked over here. That tiny bit and that bit of the map that I couldn't access anyways. Not without flying it. What's the quest here while I'm passing? Ponderous Porter. A hunger for trade. Alright. The other one was something to do with trade as well. Uh, There's an Imperial Predator just hanging out. Alright. Come on, we're so close. Castro Abania. Is Alfino going to be waiting for us there? Nope, Pippin is. It does say speak with Pippin now that I look. You returned! How fares your sister Alfino? Her rapier! Wit remains undulled. For better or for worse. Have there been any developments in our absence? 
I am proud to say that Castro Barnier is now wholly under our control. At present, we are taking stock of the enemy's supplies and redistributing it, redistributing it, them among our men. My voice be no be tongue totally tingle tangle tingle tangled. Also, while sifting through the officer's documents, we learned that a unit of skulls under Four Dollar's command passed through the castrum en route to the capital, with a single prisoner in their custody. Kryle, it has to be her. In all likelihood, yes. You'll be glad to hear that the tunnel leading to the locks has been secured by our soldiers and is now safe for travel. And one final piece of good news. Reinforcements from all four Alliance stations have arrived and joined the main host, which has established a new base of operations within the locks. Commander Hext should be arriving soon, yes? When she does, we will call a meeting to discuss the final stage of Valga's Beacon. Speak of the devil. Sorry to keep you all waiting. An Alamegan folk dress? How very fitting. And well fitting, I might add. Shut up, I've already complimented her. I wanted to do something for Ida. And myself. Ah, that, that is it. The last push. We're coming, Crown. This is it. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, then. Give us that final introduction. Or oh, I have to go slightly further forward first. Uh, no preference. If you would, Lise. I remember my father's words. How they rang in my ears as we left Castromabania behind and looked out over the locks before us. Comrades brave and true, they had come from all across Eorzea to stand with us, to stand against oppression and tyranny. Twenty years the Empire had ruled us, but no longer. Liberty or death. Liberty or death. Well said. Here we begin. I would say to you as a proud son of Alamigo that I am grateful to each and every one of you for your part in this endeavor. Now, to the heart of the matter. The enemy appears content to remain within the city walls and await the inevitable siege. Open conflict has been sporadic thus far. Whether Xenos is biding his time until reinforcements arrive, or attempting to bait us into a trap, none can say. We know better than to trust his word. Regardless, we can ill afford to present Garlemald with a chance to ready her legions. It would be in our best interest to press for a swift resolution. A long siege wouldn't be good for the people in the city either. If food becomes scarce, you know who'll starve first. Just so. Therefore, I propose we commit our forces to an all-out assault. What say you? It would seem we are of one mind. Then let us proceed to the how of it. The Immortal Flames will form the Vanguard, supported by the Archers and the Conjurers of the Order of the Twin Adder, under the Elder Seed Seer's command. Once the main host has cleared a path to the walls, we will bring forward the artillery of the Maelstrom and the Temple Knights. 
I would have your cannons pound the gates and punch a hole right through the middle of their defenses. What about the resistance? Your part will be to occupy the residential district and keep civilians out of harm's way. The people are more likely to trust their own. Of course. You can count on us. Remember that there is a second entrance to the city proper there. If all goes to plan, we will have secured two points of entry. Once both objectives are complete, we press on into the city, surround the palace, and hunt down Xenos. As for the Scions, you will be held in reserve as an irregular unit until we have more intelligence on your captured comrade. Kryle's rescue will be your primary concern, but I dare say we'll find a use for you once her freedom has been secured. Thank you, General. I pray we find her quickly. Ralga's beacon nears its end. Soon, my friends, Alamigo will be ours once more. The stage is set, and the players are assembled. Eorzea has come, at last, to drive the invaders from her lands. What would Grandfather say if he were with us here today? Ba -ba -ba -ba. The key to victory! I mean, you've got to have your priorities. Well, let's have a look. Two ether quests there, and that's all for now. The Alamegan Quarter. Ah, yes, I suppose I would have to actually find one first. Let's have a look. Do do do. Because I think I am going to end it for today. Do -do, do -do -do. I really like this music. This guy's really pumped up for, well, the battle to come. Let's see. Ah, oh, not more tree people. Better not be up there. Northwest. Oh, it is. This is the one. Yep, that's the one that everyone hates. So, how on earth do you get that? Well, you have to go all the way around, around, and then you get to there. So I guess we would be getting one today. Uh, Port Pretoria. So, with that, I am going to end it for today. We might start next time getting the ether currents. We may not. Who knows? So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the liberation of Alamigo. Bye-bye.